Okay, now we're gonna have fun with some curly hair. So curly hair always made me stressed, especially if in a styling situation, because we don't know what this curl is gonna do if they're not our client. So my biggest uh, recommendation is less is more with handling the hair. That being said, we have to get in there to manipulate what we're gonna do. So products we're gonna use today is gonna be the Absolute oil, uh, Repair Oil. I'm gonna put a couple of pumps onto my hand and I'm gonna put my put it on my hands like hand lotion. So now there's not gonna be as much friction when I'm manipulating this hair. So how I prepped her was I shampooed her, I put transformer texture over a layer of Vitamino spray, so sprayed like crazy on wet, wet, sopping wet hair. Put this on in layers all the way through the top, quite a bit actually, and then let it air dry. And this is what we have here. So there's a little bit of a cast on it, but it looks really pretty. Now I'm gonna take my oil in my hands and I'm gonna just smooth, my hands are paddles, not rakes. And I'm just gonna get this oil in here just to freshen up these curls. I wanna stay away from brushes I want to stay away from combs. I'm just going to be using my fingers to put the hair up. So let's maybe do something a little, um, let's do something half up, half down. What is that? How does that sound? And I'll do that on a straight for a straighter formation as well. So I want to determine with her head shape where the best place to have my height. So I'm gonna be looking at her cheek, eye, and her chin, where this line comes up. This is kind of where I wanna build my height for her, is where all of this comes back to this point here. If I get it too far forward, it might look a little mohawky. I want this to sit about right here. And I don't wanna over, over complicate this, so what we can do is, again, I'm not raking through this. I'm gonna take my U-pins and I'm gonna weave my pin into the section. So I determined where I wanna pin into. So I'm gonna take my U-pin, come in here, weave, twist, and I'm putting that in. So I've started building this half up style. I'm starting from the center and I'm working forward, just keeping mind balance the whole time. So this is gonna be more like that freestyle that we're talking about because curl hides a lot of stuff, right? Do you agree? So with that curl, I'm able to start building some height. And to build a shape so that way it's up off of her head. Letting some of these pieces fall. I don't mind some of those pieces falling. just sculpting the pieces together. I really wanted to show you on a curly head because the last thing you want is to get thrown that model that you're not comfortable with because she has coils and curls. She's already gonna have a lot of anxiety because a lot of people don't know how to work with curl. So the biggest things is not brushing through the curl making sure I have oil on my hands. Like she's actually absorbed a lot of the oil. So I'm gonna put more. And never have I once raked through this hairstyle. So you can see that we've built this shape here. And I basically just wove these pieces 
into the back. With curls, sometimes overthinking it is not good. If we start trying to make this too intricate, what's gonna happen is all the detail is gonna get lost because of all the texture that she has in her hair. I think we're missing something here. So let's pull that back. I think we got it. The number one thing people with curly hair don't want is frizz. So I'm not, again, I'm not brushing through her hair at all. So I'm using this camera, the video screen here, so I can check how this is falling. There we go, I like that. So let's check, double check this side. There we go. There we go. So that would be a half up, a half down. If we wanted to pull this up, we could do some kind of bun or chignon from here, which I think could be really pretty. And honestly, it's just as easy as where, how I just pulled that up and twisted. I wanna replace my fingers with the pin. So where I'm holding this, I'm gonna put a pin. I like using U-pins for curly hair because they're a lot more forgiving. A bobby pin is gonna collapse that shape. And I don't want a collapsed shape. I don't want to compress it. So we just did two styles pretty quickly on the curly hair. And this was about seven minutes. So again, these are fast ways of doing hair. If you have you know, a line of people for an event, a fundraiser, a photo shoot, don't overthink it. Just have an idea of where you want to take the shape and then start building to that idea. But make sure you have the idea first. And honestly, in all fairness, we're human beings. Sometimes we not, may not have the idea. So what I'm going to recommend your homework this week before your event is to start looking up as many styles that speak to you in all age groups. So depending on who's gonna be at this fundraiser event or at the event, if it's gonna be an older clientele, look in mature up styles. Look that up on Google, find some images that you like, print them out, have them on your phone, have some that are more youthful. That way you have a catalog in your own mind to pick from because when in the middle of all of the hustle and bustle of everything, sometimes my brain goes, goes pretty empty and I'm like, I don't know what I wanna do. So I take a minute, take a beat, and I look through my catalog and I'm like, okay, cool, I haven't done that one yet. Let me try for that one. So I'm gonna show you a half up, down, uh, up style on a low formation hair now. 